Hi guys, welcome to this video. So I recently decided that I needed to ally into my army some more firepower, my Age of Sigmar army, the Skaven. Um, and I was looking to see if I could get some poison wind mortars, but unfortunately, GW have stopped selling the box set that makes that they're included in, and so all the prices on eBay have gone straight through the roof. So I decided to make my own, and I've made them in a pestilence theme, so let's have a look. Right then, this is what I've come up with. So this is all made from a little bit of styrene and the Plague Monk kit for the uh, Skaven Pestilence, or Clan Pestilence. There's a, there's a bit of work that needs to be done for each of these. Um, this one uh, was just a prototype and so there are some mistakes, like this band is a bit too thick for the, uh, the slingshot. I'm using a sensor in there rather than the balls because I'm going for the whole pestilence theme and I wanted it to basically be uh, a sensor that's dropped down and uh, <laughs> like the puff of smoke spreads out when it hits the ground or it smashes into, into pieces and spreads out. So there's several things that I needed to do to get to this point. The first off is I wanted this guy to look like he's leaning back a little bit. Um, so I chopped his foot. Usually that foot is pointing forwards and it has a little bit more height to it. So I chopped his foot, uh, snipped the top off it and bent this one down a little so he's he is actually leaning back slightly um, but it's not all that apparent I mean he's supposed to be hunched forwards like this so I suppose it is having a bit of an effect the idea being that he's leaning back onto his foot so he can draw this uh, band back so he can fire that uh, off there's a bit of damage to the hands here because I twisted them several times to be flat and then not flat as I was trying to decide how to uh, Fit them on here there's probably i'm probably going to do a little bit of banding to, to go to the hands the idea being that there's some uh, there's some rope that he's holding on to or some uh, some material which he's pulling back um so that's this guy here so i had to get two hands um i used two of the knife hands and just chopped off the knives did a bit of work to the top there to make it so the thumb stands out um fairly simple stuff and then stuck them onto the sides uh, this here is plastic hard. I've just snipped some bits out of it. I probably need to scratch some detailing into it down the, the lengths just to make it look like stretched material. Um, I'm not sure if this has worked out, but on the top here, I've put these two like ribbon uh, scrolly things. And um, the idea being that maybe make it look like uh, when it got to the top there, a, a nail was put in and the excess was just allowed to uh, to stream down. I'm not sure if that's worked out brilliantly. I think it'll probably look better once it's painted. I need to do another six of these, so I've got time to refine this. I'll do a video when I've made the other five. Uh, for this one, you can see this one here is just a normal um, woe stave arm that I've attached on this side. I haven't done any work to his body. Um, I've just twisted his wrist slightly so that it, uh, it sort of fans out like that. This one here, I had to take the arm which is holding the, um, the gong sort of hammer, chop off the top and bottom, uh, get a woe stave put on and also angle that one out slightly and that gives you this nice V there um, and the actual the whole idea of this is actually, is just preposterous in terms of him being able to hold these two woe staves while this fella pulls this back is uh, is a little bit daft so I'm not sure if I need to do some work at the bottom here to make it look like they're uh, sort of stabbed into the ground I, I, I don't know but uh, I think it's cool, I think it's quirky, I think it fits in with uh, Skaven, and it also fits perfectly with the the Pestilence army. Um, I also then I also need to somehow remove this from its uh, plastic hard base and stick it onto a uh, an oval base for for actually getting it to work fine without sort of ruining this part here because this is actually um, it's fairly it's a fairly strong structure. But I don't think it would withstand having both of them chopped off this and uh, wiggled about very much before it uh, came apart. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. Apologies for that cough there at the end. I've got a few more of these to make, but I'm I'm really enjoying how they've come together, and it looks a lot better than I was expecting uh, it to. I found the idea from Google uh, Images, so I'm not claiming to uh, to be the first person to have ever done this, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting these done and painted up and added to the army to uh, make it a little bit better in the old shooting department. Right, uh, let me know what you think of it. If there's any uh, suggestions you've got for making them better, I am all ears. And keep up with me in between videos over here. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.